Hi guys, welcome back to a new vlog. Um, in a bit of a rush because we are meeting Ellie in Nordau. Uh, we're going to the harbor there to like just chill, have a nice time. Like it's kind of cloudy, but like there's sun and it's like quite hot. So we just want to go there and chill. Apparently there's a DJ and we're just going to chill by the water for vibes. So we're going now. I'm in like a cozy. Um, and like pants and then my shoes but i don't know if i'm gonna change my shoes to my jackies so yeah heading out to the city we were gonna go to a market but we just got up really late and like we were really tired we went to bed late so we're gonna go to a market <clears throat> next week but we're gonna go to the city now and I kind of want to go like look at some shops and stuff and so does he so we're gonna go to the city <clears throat> probably walk around and maybe shop a bit I do want to go to Sephora and get a few things that obviously that i can't get in south africa so kind of excited about that and then i want to go look for these sandals and then just like yeah just browse see what there is you know just thing because like the shopping strip in copenhagen is super super nice super pretty it's all like out in the open the buildings are so nice so and like i went there when it was like winter and it was like dark so i really want to see what it looks like in the day so yeah i'm gonna go there now uh i'll give you an outfit overview this is the outfit overview it's actually nothing crazy i just put my hair in a plait um pony plait this top is from topshop back in 2016 these pants are from fashini my satin green pants and then i clean my sneakers um, if you watched my last vlog, you'd know that these things were really dirty. I need to still wash the shoelaces, but they're looking really nice and clean now. Thank God. Um, yeah, then my bag. I bought this bag off of Superbalist, um, because I wanted something that looked like the Chanel bag, kind of, you know? And I wanted a, like, crossbody, and it's so perfect. And it was only 600 rand. So this is the OTD. I don't think I'm going to take a jacket. I think this is how I'm going to go. This is the fit. And yeah. Your cheeks. 
so I never leave. just finished walking around Copenhagen for like just around the shops and everything it was nice saw a couple of the like high school students who had graduated like basically naked in a fountain um, and I went to Sephora well actually magazine and then the Sephora in magazine and got nude sticks which I am so happy about I thought they didn't have it so I got all the makeup that I wanted. There's only just one product from Nude Sticks that they did not have in stock. So I need to go and get that at some point when they do. I'm going to try the one that's um, by Ali's place. So yeah. And now we are at this thing called La Fiori Fioretta. Yeah, La Fiorita. La Fio Fiorita. Fiorita. Yeah. Fiorita. Okay. La Fiorita for pizza. It's a really cute little spot. And glad we got a table and chair because like, it's quite packed. So we're gonna eat pizza now. And then we're gonna go home. Ali's gonna do some work. That's our pizza. Ali's gonna do some work and I might um, just chill, work on my notion, like do some personal stuff that I don't really get to do during the week. And then during the week, I'll focus on multi and obviously work. Look at our pizzas. Oh, I'm gonna steal an olive from Ali. Update. The pizza was super good. Like, it was amazing. Definitely, like, one of the best pizzas ever. Um, Ali and I also just, like, drank this bottle of wine. Like, and, like, we're both feeling it. And we have, like, 10 minutes to get to the train by walking but we have our bikes so we're gonna bike but yeah need to still finish like this little bit of like wine and then we're gonna bike to the train and then take the train and then bike home so yeah <laughs> and then i just had a shower we got home had a shower and I bought us face masks last week. I'm gonna use this one, which is for dry, sensitive skin. And then Ali is gonna use this one. Hi guys, apologies for my silence. I just literally I don't know I just wasn't feeling like in the mood to like film yesterday I don't know why I was just like I just have like a lot of work to do um because what happened is is that my meeting got cancelled in the morning and then I took the opportunity <laughs> to sleep in a little bit because I was really exhausted because for the last couple of like days like since last week about Thursday or something I kept saying like I want to go to bed early I want to go to bed early Friday I didn't go to bed early Saturday I didn't go to bed early Sunday I didn't go to bed early then today I like last night I also didn't go to bed early um I went to bed at one and I, I've just been like it's just been like so difficult like my mornings are extremely slow like I'll get up go into my meeting do some work and then like I showered like one and then you know so it's half past two now um so I just give you a little update on what's been going on literally yesterday I just mainly uh worked um for most of the day and then I needed to go to the shops because I wanted to go and find the highlighter that I couldn't get at magazine the last at in Copenhagen so I couldn't get this highlighter in Copenhagen so I went to get it here and they had it so I'm happy about it um, I'll do a little haul in a moment of like this the makeup that I got um, super expensive but 
I was lucky because in Copenhagen I got a 10% discount because I'm a foreigner so they minused the tax which is quite nice um, yeah and then I also exchanged like something there um, and then went and got like just some toiletries that Ali and I needed uh, a little bit of like like food for today then we had dinner a social dinner in the kitchen where TJ made like this really really good vegetarian curry it was so so good so we ate that um, oh I got so upset my nail broke this one and it's like still broken like it's cut like in the nail so I decided that I'm just gonna like soak off all my nails just so that it doesn't break off and like bleed and hurt and shit like that so I had to cut my nails um, which I'm really sad about but you live and you learn um, nothing you can do about it really they lasted a really long time um, but I just decided I'll take them off because I do go home next week but um, my nail tech is away for like another week so I was like one way or the other was gonna happen uh, these were much this is like a week longer than what they were meant to be on for so it's gonna happen but the rest stayed up really well like it was hard to take the rest off because of it but yeah managed I kind of just painted it this nude color that I got from Essie the same color that I bought for my toes it's really nice um, I haven't been painting my nails in a while so I didn't do the best job this is like a redo because I painted them last night but then like obviously I slept and like got fucked up <laughs> but anyways um I kind of done like a little bit of work and now I kind of just got inspired last night because I was like looking up inspiration and stuff last night and I got really inspired for my multi I've been waiting for that inspiration to like spark up again and it hasn't been for like three weeks and I was kind of just letting it ride like I was kind of like I'm not because I don't want to work on something when I'm not in the mood because if I do that it's not going to turn out good do you know what I mean um and especially when it's your own project because like you are the one coming up with it so you can't even like talk to someone else about it and then like help you through it because it's your idea so it's just so hard like you meant to be consulting with you so it's just really difficult um so i found my inspiration I'm gonna literally get going with that as well now um i really need to so i plan on doing quite a lot today um ali has a deadline at midnight or something around there so he's going to be working like the whole day as well which works out so great for me because i get to now work on my stuff um in this little inspiration bubble and i know i can get like a fuck done done in this time so i'm super excited so i'm gonna get that done now um we also might head to the library around about like six just to go and like work in the library um on campus because the library is really nice um, I remember going there once but I'll take you guys along to see the library because it's such a nice library like I'd like work in, a, in that library all day if I could I got four types of nude sticks the first thing that I got I got the tinted blur foundation in the shade nude 5 medium so that is it um, then when you like open the box it kind of it's just in this like cute little packaging um yeah and it just like tells you how to use it etc on this little thing so i got that i then got like a highlighter um i got the shade ice ice baby so it's for glow and then i got uh, i then got a bronzer so i got another foundation which is the nude six medium and i got that to contour and everything and then I got the In The Nude um, blush, which you can also use on your lips and everything. So I got that, um, which is super nice. I then splurged as well and got the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. This is like the best thing. I used to always use Benefit brows. I just keep hearing about this. I keep hearing about nude sticks. And I was just like, you know what? I'm here. I'm going to buy it because... I know benefits in South Africa, so I could have bought this there, but the other stuff I could not have bought. So I was just like, I'm buying it because I'm going to make the best clean girl makeup tutorial ever. I will do it. 
you'll see it soon <laughs> when I figure this out okay and then I bought a Fenty lip gloss but they didn't they had the cream version and I wanted the gloss so I was like oh crap I fucked up um, I bought the cream and not the gloss and they didn't have the gloss so I then was like because I was gonna buy the Tarte um, shape tape but I couldn't find it in the one in Copenhagen so I was like let me just go see maybe I exchanged the Fenty for the gloss here and then I didn't see the gloss and then I was like fuck it I'm gonna buy the shape tape concealer so happy I did because let's be honest guys I've been hearing about Tarte shape tape for like 10 years always wanted to try it so now I am and yeah I'm gonna go work now because uh, I need to and I'll chat to you guys a little bit later let you know what's happening on in the day and everything it's a really nice day also yesterday was extremely hot it's been really hot it's been really sunny it's literally summer right now it's so so nice um, but yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna go work I got up really late with Ali. We worked literally at the library until midnight. Um, I got really far with Malti. I'm so happy. Um, I only have like a little bit more to do um, for this week and then I'm literally on par with where I need to be for next week. So I'm really happy about that. Um, we were only went to bed at like 3 in the morning because we got home and then like we had like a snack and then we were just watching things and then I was like oh my god it's 3. So I woke up, I woke up late, like I woke up at like half 11. I did wake up at like 20 past 9 but then I went back to bed. Um, so now we are going to the beach. Um, now because it's like still good weather and everything. It says it's going to get cloudy around about like 3. So we'll see how long we can stay there. But this is the beach outfit. I'm wearing my yellow bikini underneath this. But this shirt is from Ali, I don't know where he got this shirt. Um, but I'm wearing the yellow bikini, um, my white bike shorts, and then obviously my bikini bottoms, and then my books. So that's the outfit for today. I put my Bird Studios necklaces on as well. So we're going to head out now. We just got to the beach. It was like a 20 minute bike ride. It wasn't too bad, but I was like stressed about the way back home because there's a lot of like uphill home, which is nice, but it's fine. I think it'll be okay. We might take another like route, which is a bit more direct. But we went through the animal park where we picnicked so we like rode through the entire animal park like from top to finish so like most of the ride was that <laughs> we are home now um, as you saw we took like a different route home and through the like animal park there's like a different kind of like 
amusement park but it's like super super old it was like built in the like 1500s or something so we just like went for a walk through there which was really nice we didn't do anything there like i was super tired i think it was just from like all the heat and everything and then we just rode to netto which is like the supermarket here and just got some like groceries and stuff so that we can make dinner ali is gonna make a portuguese chicken which I'm so excited for um, but I just came home and I just jumped in the shower because I was feeling so wet and like bleh. Um, just from like biking and then like I was biking in like wet um, what's it pants because of the cozy but the beach was so nice like I got in the water and it was so nice it was so nice and warm like surprisingly it was like really warm but I think that's just me comparing it to Cape Town because that's what I've known for the last three years I'm not really like I can't remember warmer oceans so for me this was quite warm like it was really warm um I found it really cold so I don't know anyways so I just like decided to make myself feel pretty because I was dressed like a hobo the whole day um so yeah I'm just wearing a t-shirt and my my satin pants and then guys I tried out my whoop, I tried out my makeup my new makeup and it looks really natural and like really good like I'm so happy about it so this is it I think I'm gonna put some of the like tint on my lips and then put a gloss and then I can look yeah but it's like super natural super glowy like it literally is what it says it is so I'm gonna see how long it lasts I did use the Tarte concealer as well also looks so nice I have not set my face at all so I'm gonna see how long it lasts just go through the like evening and see but yeah I just I really wanted to do my face up a little bit just to make myself feel a little bit pretty but yeah I'm gonna go and check on Ali and see how dinner is coming along Thursday um it's literally like the end of the day basically I literally just had work the whole day today I didn't do much, like anything else Ali made us french toast for breakfast and it was really good like we did it with um brioche bread and apparently it's like the best bread to make french toast with and it tasted really really good so I am done with work now we are gonna make some chicken mayo sandwiches with the leftover chicken from yesterday. Nothing like a smile in the morning. There's a fucking Zac Efron in my video. <laughs> 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 No. What's going on? There you go. That's like the worst thing you can do, you know? Sorry. Now there's pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a smile. Cause baby in your absence life is boring So I'll never leave 